Okay, let's dig into the video that many of you have requested. We're delving into Gojo's narrative, but be warned, there are spoilers ahead if you haven't read up to chapter 258. As most of you are aware, I firmly belong to the camp that believes Gojo will make a return, a sentiment only strengthened by the latest chapter. If you follow my series on this topic, you're familiar with my arguments for Gojo's comeback, especially my recent discussion about his numerous flashbacks and their potential setup for his return. Interestingly, chapter 258 breaks the pattern as it lacks a flashback. However, this detail is trivial since Gojo still gets a mention, which is crucial. It's not so much about using flashbacks as a storytelling tool. It's about Geiji keeping Gojo present in our thoughts. Chapter 2 158, in my opinion, strongly signals a potential comeback for Gojo. Let's unpack why. The chapter opens with a revelation about Gojo finding a new healing route via consecutive black flashes, which have opened a new RCT pathway in his brain. This serves a dual narrative purpose. First, it mirrors Sukuna's actions in the same chapter as he executes consecutive black flashes, although it doesn't restore his RCT, but does pave the way for his domain expansion. Besides setting up these parallels, it reaffirms the possibility of Gojo's return with a literal healing pathway emphasized right at the start. Add to this, his teleportation out, Shoko's presence, Urahime boosting everyone and Nita pausing his wounds, there are numerous mechanical reasons within JJK for Gojo's feasible return. More compelling, however, are the thematic reasons. Over six consecutive chapters, JJK revisits Gojo's character, highlighting aspects of his nature we might have overlooked. These flashbacks show Gojo mentoring Yuta Okotsu, praising Kusakabe's strength and challenging the narrative that he was solely self-serving or only interested in his own jujutsu prowess, a portrayal Nanami tried to paint at the airport. The crucial airport scene dissected Gojo's identity deeply, questioning whether his strength defines him or he defines his strength. This existential query posed by Nanami compels Gojo to confront his true self. Nanami chose one path, symbolically going south and passing away, suggesting that Gojo's path of self-discovery might lead north. This decision is vital for Gojo to determine his future actions. JJK has continuously portrayed him as someone who does care, contrary to what some may believe, particularly through his interactions with his students and his broader societal concerns. Shoko's recent lecture on the reverse curse technique further aligns with this theme, explaining the nuances of healing oneself versus others and hinting at the need for Gojo to actively choose his return. Even Sukuna's use of Gojo's hand sign to invoke his domain suggests Giga's subtle clues pointing towards Goho's relevance. The persistence of these flashbacks and narrative seeds keeps fueling my confidence that Gojo will return. So if you haven't already, feel free to join us. Just make sure to stick with your choice once it's confirmed whether Gojo returns or not. And as always, I'm eager to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments. I know some might think I'm reaching, but I'm here to discuss and debate, grounded in the narrative and thematic breadcrumbs Gaga has laid out. If you're still on the fence and need more convincing, check out my detailed videos where I break down the evidence for Gojo's comeback. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to our next discussion.